Hey everyone, this is my Patreon Proud Reaction to the 31st episode of Hikaru no Go. And last episode, it's been a while since I've seen it, but what I remember is Kuwabara and I got to have their match and Kuwabara won, I believe. And there was this other guy that had a bit of a battle with Hikaru and kind of crushed his hopes and dreams. And that's pretty much what I remember, so let's get into this episode. Uh, it seems like we're going to have a new opening, which should be cool. So yeah, let's see how that is as well as the episode. So... Three, two, one, play. Turn the volume up a bit here. A bit windy out here. Hikaru, no go. No, don't, don't run into people, Hikaru. Yeah, it's pretty cool up in it. I like it. I've been wanting a new opening for a while, so, you know, I'm just glad to have a new one. Come back, Akira. I want to be Tomodachi's with you. Bestest Nakamas, come back. That's a pretty cool shot right there. The, uh, the, the falling Sakura petals are a nice touch. Okay. Do our best. I got my beverage. I'm all good. Well, he's a happy-go-lucky kid. The preliminary starts. Okay, you ready? Five days. Okay, I'll try to remember all that. Yeah, it's this. What we have to do is not much different, so. That is very good. But yeah, still the insane to go up against. All those people are kind of walking in sync a little bit, but oh well. This looks like we got a cool guy over here with his nice motorcycle. What? Do you... Is he an insane? <laughs> a little bit old for to be one. Kind of depressing. <laughs> But yeah, not, not all you'd say are going to be like 14. I don't remember how old Hikaru is anymore. But he's probably around 14, right? Yeah, apparently he'd say come in all sort of shapes and sizes. Yeah, I was like it could break Hikaru in half. I was just so captivated by that guy, his bulging muscles. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be in the way. Okay, so that's the cutoff point. <laughs> okay, that's good. You don't have to tell him that. Now that you can. Yeah, people are here. Reading the newspaper, what a, what an adult thing to do. Who are you yelling at? 
<laughs> Calm down. Don't break everything. Oh, that's a guy. Gonna fool me with a ponytail. Yes. Yes, fight me. <laughs> Somebody lacks self-awareness. Well, then why don't you go beat him up? I only say that because I know nobody there could possibly win a fight with him. Just look at that man. <laughs> yeah. Good summary. So what, the world destroy blows up? At the end of the episode? The one and only. Well, I guess there's two Toyas, but... <laughs> I, I bet. Why has always been weird. We're going the same direction, we'll eventually bump into each other. Okay, are you ready, Hikaru? Got those stone fingers ready? Lucky Hikaru. <laughs> A little bit nervous there. I mean, she looks nervous, too. <laughs> I mean, she's right next to him, so... Uh, understandable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's better not? <laughs> Is that a threat? Do you think you could threaten him? He could break you between his fingers. Not a bad number. So who is Sicardo gonna end up going up against our large rude guy? <laughs> there you go, who can see that coming? At least he's back to back to her, that's nice. <laughs> yes. We'll start banging his chest and roaring. Throwing tiles around, like... That's, I'm sure that's what would happen. <laughs> yeah, muscles don't make a difference in Go. And this is a sore loser and things get violent. It looks like Hikaru is black. We haven't even really started yet. <laughs> haven't even taken your first turn. A little bit early for a toilet break. Maybe he's nervous too and doesn't show it the same way. But you're kind of running the clock down. Okay, what's going on with this? Yeah, you're seriously running your clock down. <laughs> Uh, what did you do for half an hour, and uh, did you wash your hands? I hope you did before touching the stones. Are you going to take another half hour break in your next turn? 
I guess it might be some sort of psychological warfare strategy. I don't, I don't know. Try to get Hikari to forget his initial strategy with annoyance. I, I don't know. I don't know what the point of that was. This guy's weird. Yeah, I mean, has like a chain on his wallet. <laughs> yeah, Hikaru is definitely not in the best state of mind. As Sai basically said. It's very apparent. I wonder if he'll leave again. He might, but he might probably won't. Do we have to? <laughs> you don't. Don't follow strangers, Hikaru. Well, he was never seen again. What's wrong with hamburgers? You're clearly not American. <laughs> I should hope not. Especially when you dragged him here. To the title of the anime. Just read. I guess. Are you a samurai? Uh, Ask the important questions. Okay. Guess that's fine. So that was intentional. So hey Carter, you gotta go on a bike ride when we went down to resume. That is probably more time than necessary. Yeah, this guy definitely knows how to make the advantage for himself. At least he's honest about his strategies here. <laughs> really? So, but that important? And yet you're here. Well, Sai, maybe you can help. You're an adult. You know, sort of. An adult ghosty. Good for you. But how are things going with Hikaru? Well, that's unfortunate. It's pretty depressing, though. Glad to be of assistance, I guess. She really does not like him. Neither do I, but...
That it is. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. You know, this, this girl kind of reminds me of Taya from Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, we we went over that with Kuabara and we'll get okay, this match, so. Yeah, there are. It's pretty crazy. I wouldn't like that, but. Yes, indeed. Obviously. The man loves his plots. Three hours? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I like this girl. Very cute and fashionable. I think everybody was scared of him. Gotta fear the beard. <laughs> Raisin. Yeah, a little bit different circumstances. Yeah, he really did not do much in that, in that regard. Unstable. A little bit harsh. But I get it. Why? The house isn't going anywhere. <laughs> I am, yeah, Mom. I try to become a pro. Don't you understand that I forget to tell you? You're burning, you're burning the food. I want to pay attention to that. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, so are others taking the test. Yeah, like Akira, for instance. <laughs> I love how the mother can barely comprehend this. He probably should have said something to her. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, you're appearing in an anime. You don't need to know what's going on. Nah, who cares? Pro... Pro Go players don't need to be able to get into good colleges and stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. A little bit rude to your mother. <laughs> he still hasn't fully come to terms with what she... Found out in this scene. She might need a minute to think about this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he could quite easily push you around. Regardless of what you say. But yeah, he's up against... The girl whose name I do not remember.
He's not see the beard, and the beard's right behind him. Ugh. <laughs> he does not look amused in the slightest. I mean, funny to you, but not funny to me. Don't count him out just yet. At least wait till he has two losses. You know, common courtesy. But yeah, he definitely is rattled. I don't want him to do well, because I don't want him to fall too far behind of Akira. But, you know, if he fails this, he'll fall further behind. And our new ED. <sighs> A lot of Hikaru and Sai in the ED. Oh, there's Hikari. Or Akari. Yeah, I did now again more characters. Yeah, pretty pretty cool ED. Probably my favorite so far. So that I can become stronger. Another cool end shot to end it off on. Okay, Tesuji it is. Okay, so play your cards right, play your stones right. Ooh, I got one. Let's try again. Oh, they're like sliding into the right spot. There was none of that in the anime, they just always smacked it down perfectly on the right spot. Okay. I see. Okay. That was the 31st episode of Hikaru no Go. And with this episode, we have officially began the preliminary for the, the you know, the pro exam. <clears throat> and so far, things aren't going too well. There is this big, strong, bearded guy, rides a motorcycle, has a chain on his wallet, so a little bit intimidating of an individual. Not your typical, you know... Japanese salary man looking guys, you know, a little bit, a little bit much to take in, kind of a loud and annoying. So, uh, yeah, not the first opponent you, you want to get into, you know, the kind of guy that argues and yells at people and stuff and calls other people impolite while arguing and yelling in a public place, you know, but, uh, yeah, not, not the, not the person you want to go up against, but Ricardo is not very lucky. So that is the first person he goes up against. And he did not do very well. The, the level of experience definitely shows... The difference of experience level shows here. He leaves for a, for a while and comes back, what, which accomplished two goals. Clearing his own head and, you know, rattling his opponent. That is, that's to sit there and think about, where did he go? What's he doing? Like, the, the game. What am I supposed to do with the game? And, and all that. So, you know, that was pretty... pretty. That was a lot for Hikaru to deal with. And then they went out to lunch together that somewhere he doesn't even want to go to. And then he gets into his head even more and they go back and yeah, just... And then with Hikaru losing, I wonder how differently the game would have went if it wasn't for, if there wasn't any of these mind games being played. But we'll never know. It's a moot point because he did lose. But he only lost once. Unless he loses three times, it's not a big deal. So hopefully we can, you know, recover from here. We will see. And we do have, you know, the female character facing off against the beard. 
next. So hope, hopefully we get to see that game. I, I like to see a little bit of that game, you know. See her just kind of glaring at him, maybe yelling at him a little bit. That'd be that'd be nice. But yeah, they were, they did talk about Hikaru and how he kind of rose to being an, at a level where he could actually knock on the door of being a pro in such a short amount of time compared to other people. And how that's impressive and all, but it does kind of, you know, doesn't quite have the experience that some of the other ones do with certain things. And that's becoming apparent with some with some of this. Because we do have some, some old people that are arriving here because 30 is the cutoff age, I think. So, I mean, that's that, that that's that's a big gap between a 30 year old and like a 14 year old or whatever. And so, you know. As a result, you see some pretty big age gaps in these matches. It, I think the real highlight of the episode was Hikaru talking to the mom about becoming a pro. He was like, "What? What are you talking about? You never told me about any of this. What do you mean becoming a pro? You're like, you're like a small child. You can't become a pro. What are you talking about? I, yeah, I could think it's nice that you have something to focus on like this, but your your, your grades are really sucking. It's like, mom, I don't. Who cares about grades? I can become a pro. I don't need grades." And, you know, that was, I just love how baffled the mother was. Like, she just wasn't even, didn't even know what to say. Like, this was just, just dropped on her. It's like, what are you talking about? Like, what am I supposed to say to this? What, what is it, what does it even mean to be a GoPro? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I just loved just, I, I loved how blown her mind was when that was brought up. Like, just, it was good. It was good. The mom doesn't get a lot of screen time, so I'm glad what little bit she had was pretty entertaining. Of course, Hikaru was a little bit rude to her in that scene, which I'm not a big fan of, but, you know, I don't expect that with children, so not a big shocker. Especially when he's rude to his friends like Akari. Uh, he, he, he's been pretty rude to her, especially in this show. You know, that bearded guy, he almost comes across as like a fisherman to me, oddly enough. Like, he's out there on the ocean with a spear and just chucks it at the ocean. Maybe that's just me, but... It, I just thought about it. I wonder who Kyra's next opponent will be. Hopefully it's a little bit easier than this one. Although it was predictable, I still got a kick out of the whole Hikaru walks in there. He's like, huh, don't see the beard anywhere. I'm so relieved. Then he just appears behind him and grabs his shoulder. I saw that coming, but that was still great. Because it's not how it always goes. <laughs> I also enjoyed how mad she got for Hikaru's sake, you know, with the loss and tried to explain things to him. Yeah, I do think that's all I really had to say on the episode. Just hopefully things go better for Hikaru going forward. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.